research anything about Japan and anything about ramen, you probably already know about this place. It's the famous Ichiran ramen chain. Originates from Fukuoka and very much famous for their tonkatsu ramen. The chain is so big and so famous that it even has its own instant ramen that you can buy in any convenience store. We're gonna go in and see what's what it up and how it stacks up to the other ramen we have so far. <laughs> okay guys, so we just arrived here in Tokyo, or should I say Shinjuku. So we just ate uh, Ichi Ramen. Ichi, what is it? Ichi Ramen. Ichi Ramen. Ramen? Yeah. And, uh, it's pretty cool. I really like that personal space you get. The ramen was very good. <laughs> <laughs> that food was insane. Just needed some ramen in my life. That was one of the best ramen I've had. Period. And I haven't had a lot, so that probably doesn't mean much. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't. We grew, we grew up on instant ramen, so it's a big thing to jump on like proper, proper ramen. Even though it's a chain from Ichiran, but you gotta start somewhere. stuff here. What is this? because we need the pen. Oh. You know, you know the problem you get when you're in Japan a lot is that you end up with a lot of coins. So we bought like these coin purses. So oh, we're gonna get one of these. Dragon Quest, and then this little one here. Pretty damn sweet. Yeah, dude. Uh, so we just walk into a costume shop. Really made. Nurse <laughs> costume for men. 
very interesting. I don't know what we just walked into. So, we're about to check out of this Airbnb. We've been here for two days here. First day we got here, jet lagged, really tired, didn't do it a lot. Went out and ate some stuff and then the second day, didn't plan on it, but we spent the entire day in Akihabara. A little bit too much. We got addicted to these screening machines. You'll probably see in the footage. Um, this was a really nice, cozy place. Really, really small, um, but really, really cozy. Like. The one thing I'll miss the most is this guy. Oh, I'll miss you the most. Wish we had that back home, but if I didn't give you a full tour, it's the toilet, the bathroom, really small mirror, hallway, little kitchenette, freezer. Fridge. And uh, that's it, our twin room here. So, it's time for us to go. Ikemasho! 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 You can see, nice little pot. Pretty, pretty cozy. A lot bigger than I initially imagined. I saw some videos on YouTube and they're a little bit tight, but this one is actually quite roomy, I feel like. I can like stretch out quite fine. I'm like five, 10, you know, and lay flat down and everything like that. It's pretty cozy. Um, of course, with every pot, there comes a few accessories with it. So your power port, your light adjustment. Um, let's test this out. Oh yeah, make it like really cozy and romantic. Of course the USB power port. 
I don't know if it's here, the air comes, yeah, the air comes in here. So the pot stays nice and chilled. Yeah, overall, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, uh, we also booked a table at uh, Manten Sushi. Looking forward to that. Um, so this is our our final day here. Not final day in Tokyo, we'll come back, but final day until we come back from Kyoto. So me and the brother, we just had some nice sushi. To be honest, we overslept, man. We were like, we had an hour to get to the place. We slept, we didn't put the t a timer on, so we rushed. Really stressful, but well worth it in the end. Kokori yeah. sweat. Got just need 10 more yen. Oh, yeah. It's like what is it, 1 a.m. in the morning, just found a vending machine, and I'm having my first taste of Pokeri Sweat. This is my extensive review of Pokeri Sweat. Mm -hmm. 6.5, that's pretty good. It's not bad, it's not average, it's good. So, pretty good. 